Harris Jackson confirms what we knew all along. Michael Jackson will forever remain to be iconic and one of the greatest artists and performers of all time. May God continue to rest his soul as he rests while we enjoy his amazing and inspiring music. Although he's cherished by millions of followers worldwide and has maintained his position as the king of pop way beyond his prime, Paris Jackson only knew him as dad. Something is sure has brought him a lot of fame and pride. Like another loyal or wealthy families, Paris was born into a life that most people on all levels couldn't relate to. Being the only daughter of one of the iconic celebrities in the world, Paris had a unique upbringing. She was one of the very few individuals who genuinely knew the guy who was in charge of the stage's clothes, music, and lighting. Paris Jackson's connection with her father was genuine and open despite the bizarre life of Michael Jackson. The two enjoyed many special moments, some of which she shared with interesting fans. Paris said on No Filter with Naomi that having the opportunity to experience so much as a youngster was a gift and a luxury. And from many of these interviews, Paris Jackson confirms what we knew all along. In private and away from the cameras, Paris and Michael Jackson had a very unique relationship. He took great care to keep her hidden from the public at all times. Paris Jackson has let fans get a unique look into their very intimate relationship. She wears a specific item in remembrance of him. Michael Jackson, a great performer who was loved by people all over the world, died in 2009. According to multiple history, he passed away in his own Los Angeles home from cardiac arrest induced by a lethal cocktail of medications provided to him by his own personal doctor. At the time of his death, Paris Jackson was just 11 years old. She told Rolling Stone in 2017 that Michael was wearing an African bracelet made of rope and jade when he passed away. She vowed to keep wearing the bracelet and insisted on doing so. Paris said it still smells like him. Paris, who has even seen Michael Jackson in her nightmares, finds great significance in the sensitive, personal manner she pays tribute to his legacy. Once, she told a famous newspaper, I feel him around me all the time. Michael has continued to work in Paris's creative culture, especially in her musical career. When discussing first album with the Straits Times, Wilted, she remarked, I believe he'll always have some kind of impact on anything I do, whether it's unintentional or conscious. I was always surrounded by such creativity, so I'm sure I picked up a lot on what I know from that. Despite having a huge income at his disposal, Michael Jackson made sure his kids were on the right path. He allegedly made it a point to ensure that Paris grew up understanding that despite her luxury, she was no different from anybody else. Paris learned humility and appreciation from Michael by realizing that not everyone was privileged. During her time with her father, Paris was introduced to many elements of the real world and didn't always see life from a position of privilege. In No Filter, interview with Naomi Campbell, Paris spoke openly about her early years and mentioned how her father set her expectations for the world. From her quotes, My dad was very excellent about making sure we were educated and knowledgeable and not just showing us like the glitter and glam, like hotel hopping and five-star things, she said. Paris remembers that even with basic lessons, Michael Jackson was honest in his manner. Her father would tell her the truth and the cold, hard realities rather than sugarcoating things. Paris said in one interview in Rolling Stone, Oh yes, great Columbus came to this place. He didn't say no, he having murdered the indigenous. He was all like… Michael placed a high focus on education. Paris's education was a priority for Michael Jackson. She remembers how her dad valued education and wanted to keep her interested in her studies. Sometimes he was really strict about it. In an interview with the Evening Standard, Paris said that her father used to remark, You want to visit Toys R Us and buy five toys? I see. Great. Five books must be read, and I shall test you on them. The Jackson children divided their time between academics and local and international travel before their father's passing. According to Paris, I was homeschooled for the first 12 years of my life, which implies that I only ever interacted with adults or members of my family. Before Michael's death, Paris and her brothers would conceal their faces in public by donning veils or other face coverings, according to the profile's author, Candace Bushnell. He didn't want people to see how we seemed, so that we may experience what he did not, a normal upbringing. Paris Jackson attributes her strong moral and ethical principles to her father's insistence on doing the right thing. Paris revealed how much her father's influence still has on her when she sat down with Willow Smith to record an episode of Red Table Talk. Paris was questioned by a spectator about preserving her father's memories. Paris remarked, I take the excellent things I learned from him, 
the good ideas I gained and try to utilize them every day. Temperance, kindness, acceptance, and just showing kindness to others, even if they've wronged you, by praying for them, being good to them, and showing kindness to yourself. They're all virtues. The importance of honesty was instilled in Paris as a little girl, and she's taken this lesson into adulthood. Paris began to make a reputation for herself as a budding musician with a flair for the arts and entertainment. She said on No Filter with Naomi that she is also the person who believes that I should earn everything, Paris confessed, refusing to follow in her father's footsteps. I attend interviews, I exert myself, I research scripts, I go about my business. Jackson made sure she maintained a black identity. Although Michael Jackson and Paris Jackson did not have the same natural skin tone, they did have a common ancestry and Michael made sure Paris never forgot the idea that she was from a black community. In a 2017 Rolling Stone interview, Paris said, I consider myself an African-American and black. She said that Michael had commented on how her ethnicity was reinforced, would raise his finger at me and say, you're black, and looked at me in the eye. Take pride in your heritage. Okay, he's my dad. Why would he lie to me, I think? I thus just trust what he told me and that's why I'm 100% sure I'm black. I can't doubt that. And for those who think otherwise, I'm sorry to confirm that I'm black because he has never, in my understanding, lied to me. A fact at first look, Harris doesn't resemble her father's physical features. Michael Jackson's autopsy revealed that he had hyperpigmentation, a condition that causes skin to become discolored as an adult. He said, I'm glad to be a black American, to Oprah in 1993. Michael said, I suffer from a skin condition, I can't do anything about it. According to Paris, most people who don't know me label me as white. I appear like I was born in Sweden or something because of my pale complexion and blonde hair, particularly. Following the thorough profiling, Wendy Williams attacked Paris' remarks because of Paris' fair complexion. The celebrity reacted in a sense-deleted tweet, she makes a lot of accusations about us, so she obviously gives the family a lot of thought. Paris Jackson tattooed her flesh with her father's affection. In a 2017 interview with Rolling Stone, Paris Jackson said that she has over 50 tattoos on her body, nine of which were a tribute to Michael Jackson. She said she still mourns her father's passing, no matter how much time has passed, and finds solace in keeping his memories close. Speaking of their strong relationship and how her father served as an inspiration for a number of her tattoos, Paris remarked, he has only given me happiness, so why not constantly tell them to be happy? Paris has a tattoo that reads Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust on her shoulder, one of several tributes to Michael Jackson that she has tattooed. By calling Paris Tinkerbell, Michael used to identify to himself as Peter Pan in this tattoo. The interview also stated that she had copied Michael Jackson's writing into a tattoo that reads Queen of My Heart after stealing it from a letter he gave her. Paris Jackson's body piercings, which total seven, are an important to both Paris and her father, who also discussed in an interview with LVR magazine. There's a sunburst, feather, and dragon on them, but it's more about the quantity of piercings, according to the woman. Her father is the source of her work ethic. Michael Jackson was renowned for devoting himself entirely to his music, and Paris Jackson has inherited this strong personality characteristic. When Michael was producing new sounds or getting ready for a big performance, he would put in endless hours to perfect his skill. E! News observed the extraordinary efforts the celebrity made to properly perform his choreography in advance of the 2012 Bad 25 documentary. He was known to stay up all night if that's what it took to get things right. Paris, who is now an adult, takes care of her music in the same manner she saw her renowned father devote himself to his work. Paris often utilizes music as a release and puts all of her attention into it when she's dealing with difficulties in life. When it was reported that Paris had an incident that required medical treatment in the spring of 2019, this was particularly true. Her life became even more stressful as a result of the media's constant demands for further details. According to E! News, Paris used music, like her father, to calm her spirit. She is throwing herself into her skill, a source said, adding she's really inspired by music and it's been therapeutic for her. The Stress and Anxiety Now that she's an adult, Paris is able to comprehend and respect the reasons why her father went to such great pains to keep her identity a secret from the public and why he took precautions to protect her from the cameras. Paris finally suffered from living in the limelight as the daughter of one of the most well-known singers in the world. She's faced the unwelcome media attention that's followed her throughout her whole life. Paris was overrun by the paparazzi's relentless onslaught. Paris talked up about her own challenges with popularity when appearing on Red Table Talk with her pal Willow Smith. 
Paris remarked, I sometimes get auditory hallucinations with camera clicks. I have terrible paranoia and I've been in counseling for a number of things, including that. Paris has to see the gravity of what Michael Jackson did by masking his children's faces and trying to shield them from the media hysteria. I'll wince in fear when I hear a garbage bag rustling. I believe it to be typical PTSD, informed Willow Smith. With his children, Michael Jackson created ordinary experiences. Paris Jackson recalls her father talking about how challenging it was for him to enter the public eye at such a young age. Michael Jackson's capacity to enjoy his youth was diminished by making music and performing, and he desired more for his kids. According to her interview with Rolling Stone, Michael Jackson made a concerted effort to make Paris's life as regular as possible because of his increased awareness. In 2012, Oprah questioned Paris about if she believed her father had expressed a desire for her to have a normal life and whether this was even realistic. Paris said, indeed, he did. He was not convinced, he once informed us, in my memory, that he didn't really have a childhood when he was younger. He used to be forced to sing in the recording studio while the other kids were playing outside. He wants us to have it. The required punishment was part of this normality. Paris spoke on the more enjoyable daily pursuits she had with her father. As a result, we frequented Chuck E. Cheese. Our favorite places to visit were Chuck E. Cheese and Toys R Us, she said. Young Paris also revealed to Oprah that whenever they traveled, her father and her would put up a home theater since they both enjoyed watching movies. Another favorite memory was eating fast food with her father. 